Well, hello there, and welcome to the Ham Brothers Podcast. I am your handsome host, Robert Burnell. With me, as always, is the walrus, Anthony Gaius. Hey, hey, hey. And Matthew Shipway. Yes. We are sans guest once again. Uh, two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Uh, Matt, what we were, st- we're trying to get our dungeon master. Mm-hmm. And we're, we're just having some scheduling problems. What exactly happened there? Uh, well, if we really want to get into it, uh, I scheduled the DM about a month ago. Both you guys told me that the date was great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then and then it wasn't. And then it wasn't. Then Rob had a wedding that he had to go to on the day that we were supposed to record. I know. I should have just told the guy whose wedding I was in that I needed to do a... Uh, a game of D and D. Yeah, <laughs> you need to like <laughs> make serious life decisions. Yeah, am I not prioritizing correctly? Apparently not. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have gone to that wedding last night. Well, m- fuck me, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, so yeah, we tried and failed to uh, get our guest replacement time. So unfortunately, you just get the three of us once again. Yep. But that's okay. You know, I I keep feeling like I've told I've known you two for so long. I've told you absolutely everything I I need to tell you. Multiple times okay. in this yeah. life, like, and I know about you everything I feel I need to know. That's disheartening. Okay. I, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, seriously, do I? What is there something I don't know about you? Yes. Well, pro- yeah, probably. I, I would assume so. You don't know everything about me. I know absolutely everything about you, guys. Uh, no, you don't. I know what color underwear you're wearing right now. When's my birthday? June fourteenth. Nope. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How close am I? You're pretty close. Mm-hmm. Yeah. June 13th. Oh, come <laughs> on. That should count. It e- doesn't. It's all right. I don't know Matt's either. Don't feel bad. No, I don't. I don't no, I don't it's feel October. Oh, fuck. 17. No. Shit. <laughs> Got the month right, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. What is it? 15th. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> you care just not enough. I care just enough. <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> I, you know, I'm in the ballpark. You know, guys, come on. Right. Well, anyway, so, yeah, so I was gonna bring this up. So last night I went to a wedding, um, and uh, there's a lot of other musicians there, mm-hmm. uh, a couple, you know, famous ones, etc. And I just started up this conversation with this guy. He came out in the parking lot where I was smoking, and he starts talking to me, and he's like, "Oh, how do you know, uh, you know, uh, the groom?" And uh, the groom was my good buddy, uh, Dave, who records all our our albums. And so I was like, oh, well, you know, the groom recorded my last three records. And he's like, oh, cool, I'm in a band too, and you know, what do you play? And so we start we start talking shop, right? We're, it's going great, We're talking guitars, talking like music, all this shit. Out of fucking left field, this guy pulls the e-brake and just goes, so you a fan of Trump? <laughs> <laughs> Like, we had been talking for 40 minutes straight. Great. Having a great time. And then just seriously, out of nowhere, he's like, yeah, you fan of Trump? And I'm like, fuck, I don't know how to answer this. Like I wouldn't I'm say fan. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, fan. what do you mean? Do I buy, like, merch with his fucking face on it? No. Right. Like, you know, I just I just, I just, laughed. And I was like, no. You know? Right. And he went from, like, super jovial and all nice to just blank faced. Oh. It, me, instantly. And he goes, so what? You voted for Hillary Clinton? Like, all <laughs> shitty. I was like, Jesus Christ. I was like, actually, no. I voted for Gary Johnson. And then he, he was like, oh, and rolled his eyes at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, he's like, yeah, don't you know, like, all this stuff. And I was like, I swear to God, dude, I don't want to talk about this. Right. Like, I, I, I was like, you're at a we're fuck- talk- And we're talking about music. You're like, at a fucking wh- wedding reception. <laughs> why are you doing? Why are you doing this? Like we were, we were getting along so great, and it, it was just insane to see this guy just go 180 on me. Well, that meant that it, his position politically meant so much to him that he had to stop dead set middle of a conversation and ask you what. Maybe he, he felt he was maybe getting along with he, you too that's how well, he ropes and people didn't. In. He starts being nice to them, start, starts having a conversation about something good, and then when he feels the time is right, you fan Trump. 
No. <laughs> well, I, I I think he was doing. I think he did it because he he was starting to like me. Yeah, exactly. That's you what know? I was. And that's what like, I was trying to like, say. Well, like, before we go any further, <laughs> right? Yeah. Exactly. Let me Do, clarify. Uh, yeah. Right. And so your response, obviously, it was like, okay, well, shut down immediately. Like. <laughs> yeah. So like you know, he starts going off, and uh, and then some other woman to the side, who's also like a fan of Trump. Hears him and and just interjects and starts like just agreeing with him and shit. And oh, they're like, no. yeah, oh my god, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that, that your cue word? to just back out? I, of exactly the, what yeah. I did. <laughs> That's exactly what I fucking did. I just backed the fuck and got out of there. But I just, I just wanted I had to bring that up because I mean, wh- guy, if you ever happen to listen to this, I'm sure you're a great guy. I'm sure you didn't mean anything by it, but you seriously flipped the fucking switch right. on me just because of Donald Trump. And at a wedding for, of all well, fucking places. Well, who the places. fuck brings up politics at a wedding anyway? I like, say only a dick. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not saying this guy. You're trying a dick. to have a good time, dude. That's again. That's why we try and not talk about that shit on this show specifically because it never goes anywhere. Not to the mention the conversation uh, never goes anywhere, especially if you don't agree with each other. Yeah. It's never go- you're you're right because you want to be right. He's right because he wants to be no, right. I'm right because that, I'm loudest. Everybody right. knows that. <laughs> exactly. Well, dude, it's like. Uh, and plus, it's like don't. You, there's enough of that. There was. Yeah. If you want to hear someone talk about how P- Hillary Clinton's a piece of shit or Donald Trump's a piece of shit, there are a thousand YouTube channels dedicated to just those right. things. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure you can just ask one of your parents about it, and they'll give you a whole story. Frankly, I'm fucking offended that those people who just all are kind of talking about the same thing have still have like more YouTube subscribers than us. <laughs> and it's like, what, how many of the, how many guys do you need to say fuck Trump? Like how many do you need? All of them. You need um, seven. Yeah. I need, I need to hear it eight different times from eight different people. Or even on the other side, it's like, oh yeah, I follow all these people. I'm like, yeah, they're all the same kind of guy. Right. You know, you follow Ben Shapiro and Alex Jones. I know. Yeah. They're all kind of in the same realm. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Well, maybe they only specifically target certain aspects of Trump. Like, well, I have yeah. a j- I have a Jewish commentator that I like to listen right. to, and then uh, an African American gentleman's point of view on how why he hates Trump as well. Yeah, I just fucking we don't. Well, that's why we don't talk about that shit here. Uh, not that we don't discuss it uh, privately, but uh, we we certainly leave it off the podcast. But I just want I just wanted to bring that up, just about how fucking rude that is. And how he blindsided me because like, right. we were getting along so well talking about guitars and shit and bands, you know. It's like we could be friends. We could right. have been friends. <laughs> Who knows? We might have been lifelong friends that f- from that moment if you had just shut the fuck up and right. let the conversation <laughs> be not about politics. <coughs> but say lovey. What'd you do this weekend? Uh, well, this weekend I saw Pet Cemetery uh, and went to dinner with Kelsey's parents. Not on the same day, different days. <laughs> Karen says there's a song that's like I don't want to be buried in the yeah, pets of yeah. the Ramones. But yeah, yeah. The yeah by the Ramones. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the original. Then they w- the the end credits of the remake had a remake of a cover of that song at the end. How that was, was probably the worst part of the, of the movie for me. Was know. that like just? Really? I mean, well, yeah. Why they take it in a weird direction? What the cover? Yeah. No, I just I don't know. I it caught me off guard, and I didn't I didn't like the cover. It was just. Mm, it was just too on the nose for you. Yeah, you'd I'd rather have the, the Ramones have done it. Yeah, well, just I mean, as an homage to to the original, too, you could have just played the original film. You could have just played that one. I don't know. Is Pet Cemetery Stephen King's best book? Best book? No, I don't think best it's adaptation best of the film. Book. No, that's. I think that's The Shining for me. Well, for me anyway. That is probably yeah. That's, uh, you yeah well, uh, are, do you okay? Best adaptation in terms of faithfulness to okay, the yeah, book, the movie or a bunch of stuff. And uh, in, in terms of adaptation from book to film? Yeah, and I, would, that film, I would say just what made the best film. You know, I guess that's not on Stephen King. Uh, obviously, whether people right. fuck up his books with their movies, but exactly. Um, yeah, I would say what's the yeah just what's the best movie they've made out of Stephen King books probably the shining well yeah for me personally the shining yes absolutely Cujo's pretty terrifying because that's that's my 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 top horror film like of all time and one of my favorite stephen king books next to uh pet cemetery Cujo, 
I mean, I remember, I haven't seen that since I was like a kid. I know it's scary, but I I, I just a- happened to rewatch it recently. Yeah, I saw I it for the first like time a just, few years you know, ago. There's the scary dog, and they're trapped or whatever, and the dog's right. trying to get them. Like, and now I'm just thinking, like, how the fuck does that? A- is that a book? Like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> did, he ju- did he just describe the terror for sh- page after page? Well, I, 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 that I'd imagine so. Like it's, it's all just <laughs> it's all dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> End quote. <laughs> did he do? Uh, was 1408 room 1408 uh, Stephen King? Book? No. No. No, I don't know. Wait, was it with John Cusack? So. Wait, I think it is. I think it's based. It's like a short story. I think. Uh, I was thinking yeah. of something else. I fucking love that movie. Yeah, that was a good one. That one was pretty scary. I haven't seen it, but I know it was John Cusack the whole time, right? Well, there's no murder. He's in like a. He checks into like a haunted room, like the hotel room itself is haunted. Oh, I'm thinking of something else now. God damn it! What? what? what oh no, you're I I are, you're thinking of uh, identity. Yes, that's oh. it. <laughs> but and, and, but it wasn't nice John. Pool, it wasn't John Cusack the whole time. It was they were all personalities inside right. somebody. This other dude's head, like the dude. Um, ah, damn, I don't know his name, but the the guy with the eyes. He could be oh, with the his, eyes, his, yeah, the twitchy eyes. <laughs> no, the twitchy eyes. And every fucking movie this dude's in, his eyes just bounce back and forth. What? The fat bald dude. Um, and his Forrest Whitaker. Uh, okay, um, okay. Uh, uh, you guys see Stranger Things season two? Yeah. Okay. The uh, when she meets up with her sister and they go and kill the dude in his apartment. Spoiler. He, he was. In, oh, dude, come on. Yeah, haven't seen season it. three is coming up. Fucking like in two months. Fucking get get with it. Um, but yeah. So they go and kill. As he was like, he was a guard or like a. He was like one of the the orderlies at the facility that they had oh, them wait. with. And that they go. Was to he in Constantine? Oh, oh, wait, John Cusack? No, not John no, Cusack. No, no, the, 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 the guy I'm talking the, about, the fat bald dude. Ball, yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, was the, he the, the devil? eyes always moving? No, 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 no. You're thinking of uh, fucking um, God damn it! What's his name? <laughs> uh, the dude from Big Lebowski, yeah. Carl Hungus. Carl Hungus. Yeah, yeah, that no. is not the actor's name. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but well, technically, it was his actor name. Within, in within the film, the within the film. <laughs> yeah, that'd be the worst to call him that. It's not even the character's <laughs> name. It's the character's character's name. If you saw him on the street. Oh, hey, Carl Hungus. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he's been called that several times throughout his career. Um, no, God damn it. Um, okay. <sighs> Vigo Mortensen. No, no. no. <laughs> um, I don't know his name. Um, no, but was... Yeah, was... Uh, we have to look up if uh, 1408 is a Stephen King book or not. Okay. Oh, fuck. Now I can't think of what else he's fucking Constantine. Doing. I'm pretty sure he was in Constantine. Oh, was he the the uh, priest yeah. uh, guy that gets killed in the bowling alley? No, not in the bowling alley. He was, uh, he was the alcoholic, and he dies in the liquor store. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or maybe okay, that's See, now I don't remember that. That is <laughs> <laughs> Yes, fourteen oh eight was a short story by Stephen okay. King. Okay, okay, yeah, I mean, uh, Shawshank Redemption was Stephen King, Green Mile mm-hmm. as well. Was it? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't yeah. know Shawshank, Shawshank and, was Stephen and King. Um, yeah, they, I think I think they were both they were both like short stories too. Green Mile might have been a, a novel. This fucking dude, Pruitt Taylor Vince. Props to Pruitt Taylor Vince. You're a twitchy eyed. Yeah, 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 that's who we're talking yes. about. Yep. You're right, Matt, yeah, and Constantine. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so he wasn't in Constantine. <coughs> so wait, who the f- why do we you talking about this guy again? <laughs> because <laughs> <laughs> Because he is the guy in identity whom all the identities oh. are okay. in. Uh, he is okay. a serial killer in the movie. Spoiler. If yeah. you haven't seen Identity, yeah, I haven't have twenty th- what? Nineteen ninety six or whatever the yeah. fuck that came out. But you knew what I was talking about. Yeah. But you knew Just the twist. Part of the anyway. whole zeitgeist. <laughs> yeah, how old is that movie? It's like 25 years old, I think. Something almost. like that. I just saw that Tropic Thunder. It was like a decade old. Yeah. It made me great, sad. Though. That sounds about right. It came out, yeah. Oh, yeah. His identity. Here we go. Oh, no, 2003. Identity came out. Still is 16 years ago. It's fucked up to say 2003 was 16 years ago. <laughs> 
No, it doesn't feel like it's the year I graduated high school. Dude, when we hit 2020, I think I'm going to lose my shit. (laughs) Just that that number sounds fucked up. Like, it sounds like the future, but we're not in the future yet. Right. Well, we are. uh, Well, technically, it's the present. Oh, so. don't get me wrong. I mean, like, you know, to someone in 1850, you're like, I'm a goddamn wizard. Right. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, I still... Uh, well, yeah, because we're not too far removed from our, like, 15-year-old selves, you know, in terms of technology and where it's... And emotionally? You know, like we're still <laughs> <laughs> well, that, too. That, too. Bunch of, bunch of 15-year-olds. I mean, our, our TVs are bigger, and we have smaller phones. But now the, they're making the phones fucking bigger now. Like it's ridiculous. Like the iPhone ten fucking yeah. ass. How big is that goddamn thing? That's like we went, we reverted know. back. We we had the giant brick phones. They scaled them all the way down. Yeah, to when they were like, so small. Yeah, the little break. I can't watch nothing break on when this. you open it. Yeah, and then it's like, no, now we need a TV in our fucking pocket. Like, yeah, I'm all for it. <laughs> somewhere between a tablet and a cell phone. Yeah, like just hold your fucking iPhone to your head. Then <laughs> <laughs> it's like the same thing. I mean, seriously, like a your iPad. An mm-hmm. iPad yeah. rather can do. Exactly what an iPhone would do, essentially. Yep. Why don't you just hold that to your to your face? That's where it's gonna be eventually. I mean, my phone's already pretty big. It's a pretty big. Little yeah, little it's pretty phone. decent size. I got the n- iPhone eight, which is a little bit bigger than the one. In l- I think five. The five was the smallest one they made in iPhone. Yeah, it was I like think so. A little bit bigger than like a credit card. It felt like you could put it in your wallet or something. Yeah. It's a riveting conversation we're having right now. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when we don't have guests. Yeah, I, th- I thought we were doing a n- nice little, yeah, little way flow there. Bring dude. it all yeah. to a halt. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> dude, Jesus Christ. We're just fucking shooting the shit here, man. I know. So do you, uh, was there any word on uh, possibly rescheduling our, our deal? Yeah. Because I was fucking very excited. And so I'm was I. And I'm still very fucking excited yeah. about doing this shit. Yeah, well, you know, um, I found two DMs. Well, the first one just he can he says Fridays and Saturdays are much better for him. Right. So who, as long as we can fix something like that. Yeah. The the other person it was like way too short of a schedule. Right. And, like, they were going to rent fair the next day. And, oh, like, we're gonna be yeah. fucking hungover. Yeah. And they had to drive out from Gardenia. It was like. Uh, well, yeah. what, what's exactly required here of a dungeon master? Uh, like, experience. Yeah. So <laughs> that, knows the what the fuck they're thing, doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, they sell they sell like just they sell like starter kits and shit like that you can like use. Because I, dude, because I went on fucking Reddit and freaking every other freaking thing to try and find like like some kind of form or something mm-hmm. to see if I could find anybody, but no one ever responded. Apparently, that's cool. So just went to like a comic book store and started asking the people that work there. Right. Like, yo, where's all the DMs at? <laughs> Holla. Right. Dungeon so. master. Yeah. Well, yeah. Don't don't uh. Don't Google Dungeon Master too much. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I definitely want to get that shit rescheduled. Yeah, we will. Get on here we'll have sure. that episode yeah. soon. Yeah, I'll, I was pretty excited as well. We'll get to it. I got, so there, there were people that I asked, like, the asked if they knew anybody, and they were like, no, but I wish I did, because, like, <laughs> yeah, I want to fucking I got to love that, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm completely ignorant of of how the game is played and i kind of want to keep it that way so that <laughs> right yeah you know. no, i i have a, just a like i know it's like an rpg basically and that's all i know so yeah i'm, I'm trying to stay a in rocket the dark propelled as grenade yes <laughs> my god are we gonna be firing off rpgs in here i fucking hope so shit <clears throat> that's people have had enough rpgs these <laughs> days all right well i have a game for you guys to play all right Came up with it last week. I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, so basically, I went on Amazon and other different websites to read reviews. Okay. And uh, you guys need to figure out if it's a review of a dildo or a jar of pickles. In this game, I like to call dildos or dildotes. Okay. Or dill or no dill dough. That's up dildos. to you guys. Yes, dill. I liked it. But I didn't catch it at first. It right. sounds so. the same. I'll read reviews. You guys decide if it's a dildo or a jar of pickles. <laughs> Gave it to my granddaughter. It helped her. Mm. <laughs> These are real reviews. That's the whole review? <laughs> That's the whole review. <laughs> Gave it to my granddaughter. It helped her. Jar of pickles. Man, I got to go dildo on this one. Kais is correct. Yes. Jar of pickles. <laughs> helped her with what? I don't know. She wouldn't. Uh, That's all she put. Gave oh, it to my granddaughter. Yeah. It helped her. 
Maybe uh, she oh, maybe was just making s- sandwiches. There's a story behind <laughs> every review, I'm sure. That's yeah, man. I give it to my granddaughter. I mean, shit. I can see if you're, you had like a real hip grandma, she might th- like kick you down on dildo, but I'm yeah, you, well, I don't know. How, so how how cool would your grandma have to be for you to accept a dildo as a gift? From well, her? Uh, depends. I mean, maybe it's like the family dildo that's <laughs> being passed oh. down. You know, it's from like the, the late 1800s. It has like a crank. We brought this over <laughs> from Albania. You have to put bees in it so that it shakes. Put bees in it. Yeah, you put, put a bunch of bees inside it so it vibrates. Well, obviously, I would assume that would be like a ceremonial Hand me down, not like oh, no. Amazon. You actually have to use this. Like, <laughs> uh, here's great grandma's mahogany dildo. <laughs> Hand, cr- you will not find a seam in this thing, my friend. <laughs> it is polished beyond compare. Oh my god! All right, <laughs> all right, all right. So Kai's is in the lead so far. All right. I'm not gonna keep tracking points. So oh, I uh, am. You guys now that you now that you said I'm in the lead, I am totally keeping track. Oh. All right, here's another review. Wife is happy with these. <laughs> I'm going pickles. <laughs> Unless they're wait, is this like a package of dildos? I didn't uh, go one specific dildo. I went man. all across <laughs> the lanes the pl- of different I'm dildos. <laughs> <laughs> the plurality is making me think pickles. I'm gonna have to go pickles on this one. I'm I'm going dildo. Rob guess it. Ah, oh, god damn it! <laughs> all right, I guess you could. You know, I'm thinking now. I guess a lady could masturbate with a pickle. Yeah. But that would... I mean... I don't know what the brine fucking... What could that be? Oh why me. Why would you do that? I mean, I've heard of cucumbers and such. Maybe that's how you make your own pickles. <laughs> <laughs> make your own vag pickles. Just toss a cucumber in there. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, okay. So she loved them like... Oh, damn it. I'm, so I'm more interested in, in what's happening behind the scenes here. She's what? happy who, with them. Who doesn't Maybe they just have such a pickle. terrible relationship that she's so exuberant. Uh, that's just the fact that he bought her something. Right. Whether it be pickles or a wedding ring. Yeah, ma- or maybe that's just somebody at the pickle company. Fucking <laughs> 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 just trying to b- b- bump up the reviews. Yeah, get that review pickles. score higher. It's all, hmm, Chad from England. I don't believe you're a real guy. <laughs> All right, next. All right. Now we're right. even. Now we're even one up. One, one, okay. one to one. The next one. Pros, none. <laughs> Cons, smells bad and very poor quality. Oh, dildo. dildo. That is correct. Uh, <laughs> you uh, you don't want to get a brand new dildo that smells bad. I'm hoping yeah. it smells bad like plastic. Right, like it's like it's the material and not used. <laughs> so yeah, somebody <laughs> else. <laughs> Yeah, like <laughs> I'm sure there's a specialty for that. Though. Someone used oh, it oh, and returned it, and then the company was just like, "Every eh, package it. It's fine. Just <laughs> send it back out. Send it right back out on Amazon." There's like a pube on it already. Oh uh, no! Hopefully they don't do that. Hopefully they. Re- you ever wonder if they, they what they do with like your returned items? I mean, I I don't know if dildos should be a returnable item. No, I don't. Well, I, I think you probably could like return it for like store credit, but maybe it's like destroyed i would assume yeah, yeah. it's like clothes Afterwards. like if you wear them then you can't you know you can't like take them well, back well, i mean you can as long as you still have a tag on them well what would be the reason for returning a dildo in the first place uh, i, I mean, don't know I'm you you <laughs> ordered a black one okay, and well, came with a caucasian <laughs> one or uh yeah maybe like this guy or gal said it smells it stinks like butthole right or plastic or some kind of like chemicals well, so <laughs> I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you this. In some of the reviews, I, like I said, I went searching through all dildos. I should have fucking looked in incognito, incognito mode because now I'm getting, like, ads for dildos, <laughs> like, starting to pop up. <laughs> but I, <laughs> I went into, like, the 12-inch dildos, like, the giant dildos. Right. Every review was like, this is way too big. <laughs> it's like, no fucking shit, man. <laughs> like, what did you expect? You're all, uh, yeah, this giant dildo shaped like a fist was a, just a little too big. <laughs> Wouldn't fit. Wouldn't fit in my bad. asshole. I, I have to return okay, this. Uh, do you do you have do you have what kind of dildo that last review was for? No. Oh, no. damn it. What what are we what, why well, the, you the, know? the stinky one. I want to know why, you know, maybe it was if it was like a set of anal beads or something. <laughs> like, well, yeah. Okay, no, it was just a, a dildo. I don't think I went into anal beads. We oh. should uh we should find that out, you know, and uh <laughs> see if like reverse uh, like reverse Amazon search 
use a review to find a product? <laughs> well, most of these reviews are on the first page, so oh, right. I didn't dig. Too, I didn't have to dig too deep. Okay, but for the dodo ones, I did. <laughs> you know what my biggest revelation I'm having is that I can get pickles off Amazon. <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. I was like, yeah, how they have like a like a grocery shopping kind of thing. Yeah, I came up with this idea. I was like, how the fuck am I gonna find pickle reviews? <laughs> and then I finally did. How, would you? Uh, buy your old lady like a uh, a pickle Rick dildo, so it, it's a dildo that looks like pickle Rick. Well, she doesn't like uh, Rick and Morty, so no. Oh. <laughs> Neither does my wife. Well, my wife does a little bit, but yeah. Do you think chicks name their dildos? Um, probably. Maybe. Would it, they pro- I think some of them come with names already. Are they like the brand, maybe <laughs> like like a Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you get little dude, you get to name it, and then like it graduates <laughs> from your V to your B. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do you think like it's like cars? Like, w- is it more appropriate to have a girl's name or a guy's name on the dildo? Ah, <laughs> uh, this is old Sally. <laughs> <laughs> so a reliable Sally. <laughs> All right. All right. Go ahead. Good. All right. Next one. Goodwin Chilled. We love this product, <laughs> especially when they're crunchy. Oh, come on. Dildos. No one's <laughs> crunching on. Why not? I mean, <laughs> no, no, you, you said dildos. No, no, I'm going to go pickles. pickles. No one's pickles. chewing on dildos. <laughs> well, I hope uh, that's not the point of them for sure. No, not. Those are definitely pickled. Right. And who's. T- that was a gimme. <laughs> yeah. Who's t- and first of all, who'll be refrigerating a dildo? <laughs> I don't know, maybe good. cool, cool Cold dildo. Pussy. On a, yeah, on a hot day, on a yeah. hot summer's day. <laughs> get a glass of lemonade, lemonade yeah. and stick your dildo in the freezer. <laughs> in that case, you'd want to steal one. <laughs> so it really gets nice and nice and uh, crisp, you know, rigid. Uh. <laughs> no, it'd have, no, it'd have to be glass, because if steel with the moisture, you're going to get stuck to that dildo. Oh, it's like Christmas Story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You get your tongue stuck yeah. to the telephone pole. I triple dog. <laughs> oh, that's not, okay. You're probably right. Yeah, <laughs> that's gotta be glass. That's dude. gotta be glass. You're right. You're right. If you're gonna freeze it, but yeah, well, who's that for? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, what, what are the kind where like uh, you know those those mugs you have where it's liquid on the outside and it freezes? Oh yeah. To keep stuff cold like that. It, it, so it has like, like insulated. A li- yeah, it's like a liquid inside that you can either heat up or freeze, depending if you're sore. You yeah, know. Be careful with heating it up. It's like icy hot. It's too hot. Some dude with like su- super hot cock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch out, honey! Oh, it, I got burns. That hot cock. it burns so good. <laughs> <laughs> that hot cock. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Yeah, uh, definitely don't freeze your dildos. <laughs> um, <laughs> unless you're unless into they're it. glass. Don't yuck! Don't yuck other people's yums. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's for like a <laughs> you know like a female necrophiliac. What's that oh. frozen dick? No. I, I well I I don't. Oh. I don't know if they freeze cadavers. They put them in the in a cooler for sure. It's so definitely you put, you not room in the temp. fridge. If if you're going for necrophilia, you're gonna go with the fridge. The fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Because then you, you want it. You want it around. You know. You want it chilled. Here's a question: uh, Is the freezable dildo uh, flaccid before before freezing? Well, no, because <laughs> then <laughs> <it> <laughs> 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 and then you put it in there. Yeah, you gotta put water stiff. in it, and then it, then, <laughs> it then it gets it gets hard. And then, uh, just like a real dude, like after a certain length of time, it just goes <laughs> back. <laughs> then you gotta wait. You gotta wait a little bit. <laughs> Maybe get some food, put it back in the freezer, let it chill, and then uh, it'll be back uh, back to form for you. <laughs> let it stick it next to some Gatorade. Let it rehydrate. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! All right, all right. Keep going. <laughs> next. All right. So I think you guys are still tied. Yeah, we're tied. Right three, now. three. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I first bought a different brand, which was a good choice as well, but I wanted something that gave me a very full feeling. This one didn't disappoint. All right, that's a good one because <laughs> you can definitely take that t- both ways, like yeah. a full feeling. Uh, Ooh, getting filled up. Yeah. Uh, man. No pickles. Yeah, I'm going to have to say pickles too. No, it's dildo. Oh. God damn it. Both wrong. Wow, cheers to that lady. <laughs> She's getting filled up. <laughs> By her dildos, <laughs> dude. Who takes the time to review a fucking dildo? Exactly. Dude? <laughs> I mean, like, uh, maybe that's why some of these dildo reviews aren't that great because there's not a lot of them. Uh, maybe. Oh, I was gonna say, 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. What percentage are women? Would you say it's all mostly most of them were men. It's like I got this for my wife. Didn't fit in her asshole. <laughs> Why don't you try and return it? It's like what the hell? Man? I want my money back. <laughs> My wife didn't like this in her butt. Why were they instantly from the South? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's, just <laughs> that's just where my mind went. Yeah, I'm just wondering. It's like, how? I mean, how many like total dildos are for sale on Amazon? Like A lot. Oh, well, yeah, I'm uh, sure there's plenty. There's a lot on Amazon. Zero reviews. Literally zero reviews on Amazon. Right. I had to go on like different like sex toy websites to find out. So they, oh, they might even be like okay. to- unpurchased ever. Right? I, I don't know. Because I think you know if they have zero reviews, well, no, just well people that could just really mean that no one's willing to, yeah, no one's on Amazon. To reviews, <laughs> like you know most what? most of the people who are willing to leave reviews for things, are, they're not going to buy their dildos on Amazon. I was, you know, gonna they're going to buy them from like the right. dildo shop. Well, yeah. I was going to say, I I think uh, you know probably dildo sales skyrocketed with the internet because oh, uh, oh, yeah. you know people are like, yeah. ah, I don't know if Anonymity. I'm going to walk in, right. You know, to a store and have to look a person in the eye right. and, and yeah. purchase a dildo. But yet there's dildos for sale in Spencer's. Yeah. Those are hand massagers. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? Sharper Image sells those for ladies whose necks hurt and hands. It's just conveniently oh. shaped like a phallus. <laughs> <laughs> has nothing to do with the intended use. I bet you on the product packaging, it's like, not for insertion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. That's funny. Oh, all right. Next. Okay. Next one. <coughs> We're still 3-3. Three, three. We missed yep. that one. Mm, mm. Uh, <laughs> just mm, mm. That's it. All right. They're not eating the dildo. It's pickles. Dildo. It's pickles. Uh, God damn it. You thought they were just satisfied? Yeah. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> Delicious pickles. What a bitch. I kind of right, want so Rob's up <laughs> one. I'm going to get a hungry pickles. pickles right now. I'm <laughs> not going to lie. Go for a dildo myself. <laughs> <laughs> to go for a nice crispy dildo <laughs> in my sandwich right now. Go grab it out of the fridge for me. You know what dildo I like? Dildo spear. Man, there's nothing I like better than like some mesquite turkey on rye with a little mustard. And some sliced D- dildos. D- dildo on the just side. Just, to, just crack one dildo, put it right there <laughs> on top. It's delicious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. In uh, post, I'm gonna need you to add some like sexy porno music for this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I delightfully enjoyed this product while sitting on my throne in the laboratory, the boss's office, I'm trying to say I'm using this product whilst on the toilet. I sadly dropped the product on the ground. It was quite a big one. I take one sip of the juice and my head goes crazy. I chug the rest of the juice and it came out like Niagara Falls. Okay, that's pickles, and that guy's a piece of shit weirdo. <laughs> I almost feel like you made that one up. Did you make that I one up? I absolutely did not. This is why I'm, this uh, I would go pickles as well. Yeah, it is pickles. Excuse <laughs> me, sir, you're disgusting. That's why okay. I chose it. Most ridiculous out of all the reviews on the pickles, nothing like this. Like, all right, this guy's going. I'm assuming it's because like I don't. Uh, he's taking a shit eating pickles, and so he's he's trying to get the pickle juice to move his bowels. Is that what he's trying to say? I don't know. Oh. You're disgusting, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you piece of shit. Or, or the maybe the grossest thing he could think of was eating a pickle while, while taking on the a shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Dropping pickles. Like a reverse blumpkin, I guess. Uh. He's just... Re- <laughs> uh. <laughs> Dropping pickles. How bad do you think your shit would smell if you only ate pickles for a week? Oh. I don't know. Matt, do it. <laughs> <laughs> for science. <laughs> What are they, what, what, what well, I think it, it would depend on the flavor of pickles because they have different you're flavored. You can get like garlic and you're, pepper. You're, you're, yeah. and you're a chef, guys. What's uh, was it just brine salt and water that and pickles and vi- vinegar? Uh, vinegar too? I think yeah, and vinegar. And then like you can put other shit in the brine to to flavor like your peppercorns. Yeah, oh, okay. peppercorn like peppercorns and garlic. You can do something like that. Like some onions maybe. All right, say I was coming over and we were gonna eat some dildos. What do you what do you think you'd garnish that? I mean, what do you how are you what are you putting on a dildo before you put it in the sandwich? Are we putting a little like cracked red pepper on that dildo? Well, or wait, well, wait, is is the dildo going on a sandwich or am I serving the dildo <laughs> on a plate? Like, how Look, am I cooking uh, the dildo? Uh, man, There's so uh, many different factors in how you how you're gonna present it. I'm coming over you can't your ask house. Me how I'm gonna present? Something that you haven't told me how I'm cooking. Well, look, I just had There's a fresh crop of dildos come in. I'm gonna <laughs> bring them over, and uh, I just want you to cook them up for me. So, like, what, what do you what do you think? So We're gonna start with some. Uh, you know what? I'd imagine maybe like a, cor- a dildo on the cob. Yeah, or you know, I could just throw them all in a bag. 
Uh-huh. <laughs> it, but but then eat that fucking bag of dicks. <laughs> do I suck the side of the bag? I don't, I don't know. Dildo salad followed by some, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> seared dildo ahi. This is just a, a piece of tuna with just jam. <laughs> <laughs> Tenderize your steak with some dildos. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> ah. mix cupcake batter with this a, is a dildo. Ten year age on the New end York of the KitchenAid mixer. <laughs> <laughs> so dildo whipped uh, cream sauce. <laughs> I wonder how well. Uh, maybe the vibration of the dildo would aid in stirring things. Oh, may- well, mm. you know, if you're making like a cake batter, depends on the intensity mm. of the uh, of the vibrations. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah, well, they do have the ones that like. Fucking rotate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like it's like you're, like a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so you could you could totally. How about a cooking show where you just the only <laughs> utensil <laughs> you can <laughs> use <laughs> are dildos of different types. <laughs> you can have all types. So like you know you could tenderize your meat with like a one of those giant fist ones. It's like yeah. chopped but with dildos. <laughs> yeah, you couldn't toys. quite chop anything, but ah <laughs> oh, man, I mean, I guess you could just bludgeon them. It's called pound. Yeah, just you know different weights. Giant dildos, uh, you know that you could. This might be the gayest episode. Where <laughs> I, I don't know. This might be like a record for how many times I've said dildo <laughs> in one sitting as well. Uh, too much dildo, not enough pickle. All right, keep, uh, keep going, Matt. Uh, wait, what's the score? Are we at four I three? Think Rob's ahead. Oh no, five four. I think. Uh, You're ahead yeah, by yeah. one still. Yeah, because we tied. I think then. the last one we both got because yeah. the guy. Was oh yeah, right. So five. So five four. Yeah. All right. Holy shit. <laughs> this product is amazing. The shipping cost is ridiculous, but my brother is a product aficionado. And last Christmas, Al spent 300 bucks for this product to his absolute delight. Okay. Dildos. No, nah, it's pickles. Like, no one's... You, well, I mean, if you're, if you're spending 300 on dildos, plural, <laughs> it's like, what, are they going bad? Or, or a dildo. Was it? Dildos are pretty expensive. Wow, I mean, I didn't, I, I don't know. I'll have to b- bow to your superior knowledge in the subject of what <laughs> dildos cost. All right, yeah, that's my, that's my answer. Pickles. Okay, pickles, dildos. Yes. Answer's pickles. God yeah, damn on. it! Come on. Ahead by two. Nobody discusses with their sister their love. You don't know, know that, dude. Just because you Come don't. On. Unless you know, right? West Virginia. <laughs> uh, gross. All right, go ahead. Okay. You never know, man. So what is it, six six four now? Yeah. Yep. Damn it. The top of this one was shaped very rigid and difficult to get in my mouth and uncomfortable for anal use. Oh, oh dildo. Dil- Pickles dildos. or dildos? That no, I'm going to go with gonna dildo. Go, I'm going to go pickle. <laughs> sure you want to do that? Yes. <laughs> I, yeah, I'll, I'll go dildo on that one. Yeah, that's dildo. God damn it, Matt. <laughs> You're tricking me. It's seven to four. No, I don't know if a pickle has the structural ability to go up your ass. That now that you I'm thinking about it, maybe if you freeze it, it's been softened. <laughs> yeah, well, that's the str- that's the story these I, days. I've had some pretty crisp pickles, dude. You know, I just like uh, on a on a nice yeah, summer like a whole pickle, not like a a, a pickle like, like dill. a spear. Yeah, yeah not like a, a spear. spear, like a whole pickle that'll go up your butt. You know, like on a warm July, you know, you just go out with a picnic and put your legs up and uh, insert a frozen dildo. It's very refreshing. No pickle, frozen pickle up your ass, up your butt, up your butthole. <laughs> Well, shit. What do you think? Would How many more of these do you got? Uh, How, do well, I have a chance to win? You do have a chance. Okay. Guys, uh, right. If you stuck a pickle in your asshole and left it, what do you think? Do you think your body would just kind of absorb it, or uh, what do you oh, think? I'd probably shit it out. I mean, I hope so. Anyway, eventually, I mean. But what, what if you just really wanted it in there, and you were? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think it would just? I don't feel whole. Oh, I don't know. Would it turn I, into I, a poo inside your your b hole? And I don't know. I have no idea. Pink Maybe I'd shit it out of my mouth. It would, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not South Park. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know, man. Probably get some sort of infection, I'm sure. <laughs> Medical professionals, get at us. <laughs> Let us know what happens when you leave a pickle on your ass too long. All right, keep going, Matt. All right, we got four more questions. Or no, sorry, three more. No, four more. Yeah, Four more? Okay. Okay, so All right. it's eight to I four. Can, you right. can tie. No, seven four. Seven four? Yeah. Yeah. Seven four. All right. So I can I gotta win. I gotta get all three of these. Mm-hmm. And I gotta four. be wrong. Yeah. To get them all out. <laughs> all right, here we go. Not bad. A bit mushy. Pickles. Dildo. If your dildo's mushy, 
What it's is it made out of? Yeah. It's pickles. God Come on. Damn it. Dude, you're just being silly now. <laughs> of course pickles are mushy. All right, here you go. This one's for you guys. For me? Well, I mean, not really. I just, I hope you can get this point. <laughs> I bought this product for Valentine's Day surprise for my husband. That's that's vague that enough to go either <laughs> way. Um, I'm gonna go dildo. Dildo. It's pickles. God uh, damn it! Had a chance, guys. Oh man. All right, two more, gentlemen. Okay. The way it was described was exactly what I expected: firm enough and just large enough, but not too big. <laughs> it's got to be dildos because. No one's really concerned about the largeness or firmness. Well, I guess. Oh, you're I am. <laughs> when I want a pickle, it's got to be want large a pickle. and firm. What's the biggest pickle you've ever had, Matt? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe as big as like that water bottle. Wow, it's we're it's what, like at the fair pickle. or something? Yeah, yeah. It wasn't very good though. No, <laughs> too much pickle. <laughs> yeah, because I guess you can make them out of just any cucumber, right? I've seen some pretty yeah. big cucumbers. Mm-hmm. Make some giant ass pickles. How do they get those little baby pickles? Are those just little tiny? Cucumbers? I don't know. Fucked up little Maybe. cucumbers. Make Maybe. Pic- they cut them out of the mama pickle. What? What? <laughs> what? Nothing. What the fuck? <laughs> Moving on. What, like an abortion? What are you trying to say? <laughs> C-section? How do you think cucumbers reproduce? <laughs> <laughs> How do you? By seed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they put their seed in. Okay. <laughs> it's like <laughs> whales, right? Little <laughs> cucumbers. <laughs> All right, here's the last question. <laughs> what? That was whales? A, yeah, that's how Matt thinks cucumbers give birth. <laughs> <laughs> like whales do. Just pop out and <laughs> <laughs> they, s- they s- roll and then another one's there. <laughs> kind of. Oh, God. Oh, shit. All right. All right, last question. Kai, you're going to lose. God I am extremely it. happy with my product. No weird smells and great packaging. Uh, dildo. dildo. It's actually a trick question. This is a pickle dildo. <laughs> uh-huh. they, they make a dildo that's shaped like a pickle? Yep, and this was the only review I could find for it. <laughs> Wait, one more time. Can I hear that review? I am extremely happy with my product. Mm-hmm. No weird smells and great packaging. I, I don't think that person bought it. I don't think I don't know if they did. Or maybe, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if that person bought it. Why would you assume it smells? Because it's a pickle. But maybe is it a dildo? Maybe it's actual like pickle? Scented. Or is it like a scented a plastic? Well, we learned earlier that sometimes I guess dildos can smell. Right. I guess maybe that's a problem in the dildo community that we're unaware of. Dildo users, let us write in. Let us <laughs> no, know. No, don't dildo users. <laughs> just uh, keep to yourself. Uh, Facebook page. Tell us all about your dildos. <laughs> no, don't send pictures and of your dildos. Do you, what specifically, what material me- do you find <laughs> the stinkiest on your dildos? Message draw specifically. He'd like to hear about it. No, Matt would definitely love all the pictures of your dildos. <laughs> Send him drawings, actually, of your dildos would yeah, be it's perfect. Fan art. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fan art. Draw well, us as dildos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Draw some yaoi type stuff with Matt and dildos uh, <laughs> for us, people, if you, if you would be so kind. We'll definitely put it on our social media if you send us oh, uh, absolutely. a drawing <laughs> if you, of Matt. If you wish to remain anonymous, of course, we will uh, shield your name from public viewing. I'll also accept uh, just photoshopped blends of Matt with <laughs> dildos. Uh, maybe dildo hands. Dildo face, dildo nose, uh, just Matt, Matt's clothes on a giant dildo. I will accept <laughs> all of those. <laughs> you will be rewarded with praise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a pretty good game, Matt. Yeah. I, uh, Thank I'm, you. I'm proud of you. That was good. That deal was good. or no dildo? Play some game so <laughs> yeah. Deal or no deal. That's pretty good. Yeah, dill doesn't. The play on words doesn't work as well because it, it's exactly the fucking same. If <laughs> dill. Dill pickles, dill does. Is it a coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> I'm delusional. Huh? <laughs> yeah, all right. That's enough of that. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, God, the tags on this one are not going to be good either. <laughs> <laughs> we might get like... I'm going to go ahead and say this will be our most highest listened to <laughs> episode. <laughs> highest searched for, least listened to. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get a lot of hits, but it's not what people are looking for. At all. What the? What <laughs> I was gonna. What? Th- I was gonna try. <laughs> guess we could try and connect our two things. And what, the what? <laughs> what do you think? You know, Stephen King. Still though, <laughs> <laughs> it looks like <laughs> it's very spooky. It's a haunted dildo. It turns on randomly when you least expect it. It's shaped like Pennywise. 
Ew. <laughs> That's very. This <laughs> has got that face on it. <laughs> ah. No. Or Jim Curry's face. I don't want. Uh, yeah, I, th- I want to be done talking about dildos, but. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> No, you don't. You obviously have so much more to say. I don't know. I think we should just turn into a dildo specialty podcast. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we just talk about dildos specifically. We're like, I mean, I've, I've, I am not a dildo owner, nor have I ever purchased one for someone else. No. So, I have. honestly, we're probably the least like. I mean, I know Matt's dildo preferences, but <laughs> <laughs> like, probably the least qualified to discuss the topic. Yeah, I mean, I've seen some dildos. I've seen them. I've seen them. Oh, I, I know they look like. Yeah, we and, and I've used them. Oddly enough, not on myself, <laughs> but I've used them. You know, you don't. It's okay if you use them on yourself, guys. For your hands. It is, it is okay I told you I do, those are those are not those are hand massagers. <laughs> That's what every girlfriend I've ever had is keeps telling me. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, I I actually had a joke uh, written down or a premise for a joke that you. You know what uh, what status your relationship is in with your significant other by how many D batteries they're b- purchasing <laughs> for that. You're like, oh, that's weird, honey. Going through a lot of uh, a lot of D batteries. Uh, is that in a boombox <laughs> or heavy duty dildo right there? <laughs> oh, no, you know most of them. I think probably take those those round or the round ones D. Yeah. Yeah. See, they go in the D. The D. The D sell round D for ones. D. Right. They don't take. I wouldn't know, but I, I'd assume they take those instead of uh, like double A's. Well, I'm sure each vibrator is different. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. The I'm sure like the huge 12 inch ones probably take like those the D batteries, D cells. Are there 12 inch vibrating dildos? Oh yeah, look dude. it up. <laughs> Not on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're already infected with all your dildo <laughs> algorithm. So hey, you, you look it up. I'm gonna need to get a new computer. Dildo website. <laughs> Legit question: What's the biggest size I could buy? What's the biggest I size you saw online? The limit is your imagination. No, yeah. it's not. I don't know. I'm, su- I'm sure you could have custom ones made. Yeah. It's like, uh, do How you want big? width, girth? Uh, yeah, I want to know what the, the the max being sold out there is. Matt, Google it. Largest dildo Little. ever made. No, ever no, made, no. I mean, that's, that's for sale. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's I mean, How about I just go to sale. a website? No, just type no, in no. largest just dildo Google. ever made. No, for sale. Larger dildo for sale. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be possible. I want to know. Anal. No. Just throw that in the It end. doesn't matter where you're putting it. I, I just want to know, like, what, what's the max that anyone... Because, you know, you could make an eight-foot, three-foot wide one. No one's going to be able to use it. <laughs> right. It'll just die. Like it's, it's too big. <laughs> yeah, it's, you're just going to die after a certain size. So <laughs> it's got to be it's got to be something that's reasonable but still insane. Huge dildos on sale. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted Matt to Google it. To be honest, with you. You, you think you're, you think it was it was bad before. <laughs> you did it twice now. Google's <laughs> like this guy's like, into all it. Right. All your Facebook ads, <laughs> just dicks. Let's see. It's not giving me any. I can't tell how big they are just by the pictures. It doesn't. It say doesn't like there's no description. Oh, Eighteen inch. Ooh. Uh, Swirl thin anal snake. What? <laughs> anal <laughs> snake? Oh God! Is that one eighteen inches. The Wait, no, snake? that's for getting stuff out of your ass. Oh <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like a plumber snake. <laughs> like you gotta yeah. just feed it up in there. It's if you got a clog. Oh my God! Wait, hold on. It looks like you gotta screw it. That's into more than eighteen asshole. inches. No way. What? That looks like two feet. Eighteen inches, just under two feet. I mean, the guy holding it maybe <laughs> might be small. I. Do, should I? Oh, I'm swiping. No swipe left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's my a suction God. cup. It's a suction cup on the end. It's uh, ribbed. Yeah. Did you have yeah, to be lowered like down, down onto it? Oh, there's a picture of it in the bathtub. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, there's it's clearly a gay. My butt. It's clearly <laughs> gay because there's not a woman holding it. The, the, I mean, the manufacturer intended you to put this in your butt. Let's see. The Titan black dildo. <laughs> You know, now I'm starting to wonder what kind of regulation is going on here with these dildo no. manufacturers. Well, bucks. I'm sure there's specs on like the type of materials that are allowed to be used, but is there? In terms, it seems oh, yeah. like it's the wild west with these dildo makers. Well, no, I mean they gotta be made f- safe for insertion. Do they? 
I would assume well, so. Is there, the, that's I, the whole point. You don't are want there something dildo with like regulations? razors sticking out of it. Matt, Google it. <laughs> dildo <laughs> manufacturer <laughs> oh God. regulations. Oh, you go. Bro, that's for you. No. <laughs> oh, no. There you go. Oh, oh, no. Man. Does that one have a pump on it? <laughs> uh, now I'm starting to wonder if dildos are more purchased by men. The gay well, men. I'm, just, I'm sure that the, the huge... Uh, Contributing well, factor. maybe maybe that's the advertisement towards women too. How, I mean, how so? What do you mean? Uh, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't I? <laughs> would a straight woman rather see another like a, a, di- a woman, a, a hot dude with a dildo, or uh, not another in his butthole? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, dude. You never know. Okay, th- okay, yeah. So they have a naked chick holding that one. Okay, it's actually called Behemoth Ribbed XL. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that's glass. Uh, looks looks pretty nicely made, um, in a spiral pattern going down the shaft. Oh, that one's spiraled as as well. Man, sixty bucks. Five so reviews on that one though. On it. <laughs> wait, we got five reviews on this one. Oh wow. Okay, wait. Hold on. <laughs> this is way too long. I have to read this. Yeah, let's take my phone. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, this person put a whole paragraph. Very nice addition. This one is not too small, not too big. Wait, addition? So like the, the yeah, that's a that's the title of the post. A nice addition so to my other dildos. Oh, okay. I thought you meant like addition of like this is the third edition of this dildo. Oh. Like like the generation. No, addition, almost. not addition. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, addition to her collection. Okay. <laughs> or his collection. I don't know. Well maybe we can deduce this. Uh this one's not too small and not too big. Uh I feel it is a good choice for intermediate users. Well, and thing those is huge. attempting to graduate <laughs> to larger sizes. What? Well, yeah, it makes Isn't sense. It already called the behemoth. No, but I mean, uh, yeah, XL. So there's probably <laughs> a behemoth, <laughs> medium, large, <laughs> petite, uh, and I guess yeah, that makes sense. I mean, you can't just go zero to giant eighteen inch dildo. Right. You have so to it's like work into your it. Ears. <laughs> like you yeah, can't you can't just just your butthole. <laughs> yeah, your butthole's a lot like your earlobes, actually. Uh, at a certain point, you can stretch it to a point where it, it's not going to work anymore. <laughs> it's not going to hold anything <laughs> back. Your earlobe, like a plug right. or poop. Either way. Oh, fuck. Okay. C- Let's continue. continue. Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay. Due to, it, due, due to its pointed and tapered head, Ooh. it is easily inserted without ordeal. Yeah. If you're, if you're having nice. ordeals, <laughs> yeah, if you maybe have you're... An ordeal, if, this, if you have an ordeal getting it into yourself, then... Yeah, maybe you know. maybe you shouldn't be having ordeals. Start with smaller. This thing you're putting in your body. Jesus. Okay. The length is very nice, and the rib texture is quite effective without being painful. Personally, I feel it could be a little bit larger in circumference. Sadly, there seems to be very few varieties of larger glass dildos to select from. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> <laughs> At least that is my experience. I feel the industry needs to make a more focused effort in this respect, <laughs> especially for individuals who prefer glass. Overall, great toy to add to your collection. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's, what's it's the R size on Berry. What's the, what's the size on that? Uh, the size on that? There's got to be 18 a... 18 XL. It's, uh, it is 18. Damn. Well, let me see. Here's a description. So, so there is a desire for a larger than 18 Holy shit. Look, this is the description. Dildos. This is the, well, Jesus Christ. Here's the in Wait, bold part. This will destroy you. I'm going to do it in my an- announcer voice for this company. Wait, let me see. If this company would like to send me money for this <laughs> plug right now, <laughs> these are behemoth ribbed XL dildos. Uh, and uh, let's see. I'm not sure where they're made, but we're, we're gonna, I'm going to give them a pitch right now. <coughs> inch by inch, sh- this shaft will massage your internal walls. <laughs> Fill that hole up with a hard, weighty dildo to delight in the unique sense of fullness that glasses, glass produces. This extra large dildo has the length and girth you crave with a bulging ridge that swirls around the heavy shaft, submerged in hot or cold water to use and experiment with temperature play. Shit! I was a, I, okay, I should work for this company. Um, this shatter-resistant glass is hypoallergenic, non-porous, and making, which makes it easy to sterilize with mild soap and warm water. Use with any lube of your choosing. Here's the specs. Behemoth ribbed XL dildo specifications. Measurements, 
12.25 inches in total, 11 inches insertable, 2 inches at the widest diameter. Glass, or uh, material, borosilicate, borosilicate, borosilicate glass. Note, includes a velvet storing satchel. Oh. Well, if you're going to have a fancy glass <laughs> dildo. <laughs> right. Uh, sling it over your shoulder when you're transporting <laughs> it. Dude, I just I just loved the punch here. It's like to massage your internal walls and they just go straight <laughs> in to fill that hole up. <laughs> that should be their slogan. If that's not their company sc- slogan, then they're fucking up. Oh my god. I'll take a little money for that plug. <laughs> if we sell one Behemoth XL, I want a cut of that. How much were they? 60 bucks? 60 bucks. Yeah. I want 10%. You better send me six dollars, <laughs> Behemoth. Okay, if w- you know what, I don't know if th- if their website will accept it, but use the promo code <laughs> Ham Brothers <laughs> Behemoth XL. No, the promo code's got to be small, bro. It's just ham, ham. Easy. Yeah, oh no, just Ham Bro. Just Ham, ham Dill. Bro, ham Bros. Dill Ham. Uh, type in <laughs> Dill Ham for ten percent off the <laughs> Behemoth <laughs> XL. Oh my lord. <laughs> All right. I don't think that's enough. Is this enough? I think that's we spent enough. the whole time talking about not the whole time, but uh, the it vast just majority. Feels like it. Oh man. Yeah, wow. We did an hour about <laughs> fake dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, hopefully uh, you'll tune in next week when we won't be talking about <laughs> sex toys or people. Hey, maybe know that. <laughs> See how well this episode does. <laughs> or maybe we'll just ask our guests about which they <laughs> which dildo and pickle they prefer. <laughs> Where does your dildo pickle preference? <laughs> no, hopefully we have a guest. Uh, if you have suggestions to, for guests, uh, send them to us on our social media sites. Please, Please follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will have actual videos up there soon, not just our audio. And, um, you know, send Matt your your dildo drawings. <laughs> uh, don't forget those. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think that should wrap it up. Yep, pretty good. All See right. you guys later. Thanks. Adios. <laughs>